Hi and welcome to Thursday's video. I'm do, recording it today, Thursday. Should have done it yesterday, Wednesday, but never mind. Um, we are talking more and more, it seems, with uh, traders who are asking us about um, cryptocurrencies and obviously the likes of Bitcoin, etc. And uh, certainly, personally, I've sort of stayed away from them because I'm believing that they were in a bubble. <clears throat> I certainly put Bitcoin in a bubble. And it was at eleven thousand uh, dollars yesterday. We can see in the corner up here, it's at nine thousand nine hundred and fifty um, as of me recording this today. So it's a highly volatile um, market. But does that mean that I just I'm not interested? Because I believe that when so many people around the world are jumping on the bandwagon, it's 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 rocketed up so much. It's only the tulip mania of the was it seventeen eighteen hundreds. Um, which surpasses it in um, just how incredible the growth has been. So yes, I have some concerns um, over its um, its price levels. Having said that, I also see the practicality, the practical application of um, the cryptocurrencies and, um, and 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 their value potentially in um, online payments around the world. And doing away with um, the like, or not doing away with, but taking the the power away from uh, the exchanges, so to speak. <coughs> so anyway, so I've put this um, this website up because I am actually going to um, dip my toe in the water and uh, with a speculative amount of funds. So when I say dip my toe in the water, I'll put a bit of money into it, um, but money that I can afford. I say, okay, I can afford to lose this, and I'm going to actually invest into Ethereum, not necessarily not Bitcoin. Uh, now Ethereum, uh, a friend of a friend of mine, um, works in IT security, and he does a huge amount of uh, research. So I'm um, going to go on his research that Ethereum probably has the better upside potential, although Bitcoin still has upside potential. Um, and so um, th there's some potential here. But I must say this, it is a highly speculative investment. Um, I see it that, um, yes, it's um, it's all gone up so much, but just as easily it could all come crashing back down in, in price or whatever. There is something around the corner potentially in maybe a year's time um, called quantum computing, which could um, really um, affect the cryptocurrencies. So, but that's not here yet, and it could be a year, could be a little bit further down the line. So, the way that I'm sort of looking at this is okay, is a, a bit of a, a, a punt, so to speak. Um, I'm going to look at I'm going I'm going to invest into Ethereum um, a bit later um, when I get chance probably tomorrow I'll probably do it now and so but I bought this site up because I thought it might be of use to you and because if you go to this is actually called CoinDesk.com so you can see the URL up there CoinDesk.com so if you want to learn a little bit more about what it what it's all about because I know a lot of people um, don't necessarily understand. Um, everything there is to know about bitcoins, etc. You've got this. I've just clicked on blockchain 101, and also oh, you couldn't see that when I clicked on that blockchain 101 at the top. So it gives you the 101. If you want to know about how it all works, come to this page here, and then on each of these icons, I can click on any one of these, and it tells you all about um, uh, what makes bitcoin different to normal currencies, who created it, who prints it, you know, all of that sort of information. There's loads of information on there. And then you can um, go back to the, the the main page here again, and then go through all of these um, uh, icons or, or as many as you want to. There's a lot there, um, but um, I thought it might be of use to you. So, is Bitcoin in a bubble? I believe yes, but it's such a new concept. I don't know where it's going to stop. Um, I think that it probably is, but at the same time. Um, there could be some speculative, if you're interested in just saying, do you know what, with some speculative funds, I might invest. That's how I'm looking at it. I know a lot of you are already invested in um, these various um, cryptocurrencies. But uh, so my view is, yes, it could well be in a bubble here because of the nature of um, uh, the, um, the increases that we've already seen. Um, 
but um, there is still more potential with it. But don't get me wrong, further down the line, there is um, um, this uh, you know, quantum with quantum computing coming that could actually almost um, make uh, cryptocurrencies um, obsolete in a few years time. You never know. So um, we shall see. And that would um, that would probably suit the governments as well. But anyway, for the time being, um, have a look at it. We're getting we get asked a lot about um, the cryptocurrencies at the moment. Um, to me, though, I make my money from trading. I make my money from um putting my wits against the markets you know on a day-to-day week-to-week basis and so it's not something which is that important to me to try and make sure I'm putting in a huge amount of speculative money into something which is potentially in a bubble um, and it is speculative so whereas when I'm trading I don't see that as speculative I see that as well I know what I'm doing I know them understand the markets and I'm quite happy with the the sort of returns I aim for each year but um, for a little bit of um, something on the side, um, uh, then um, I feel that this is fine. But don't bet your house on it um, because, um, you know, as quickly as it's gone up to 9,000 or 11,000 as of yesterday, uh, who knows, it could be back down at 2,000 in, in, in three weeks' time. You just never know with this. It's so volatile. Hopefully that's been of some use to you, even if it's just to say, oh, right, that's a, a useful website there, Charlie, uh, then, um, then great. And I shall see you tomorrow for live trading.